Hey, welcome back to another buoyancy example. So in this example, we have this container, and inside of this container there is a sphere that is fully submerged in this body of water. So all of this is water, and this is the sphere, and it is tethered down to the bottom of the container by a string. So the question is asking, the sphere is fully submerged in water, and it's tethered down by a string, and the tension of the string is one-third the weight of the sphere. So what is the mass density of the sphere? So in other words, the tension in this string is one-third the weight of the sphere. So that's all the information that we've been given, and we need to find out the mass density, or rho s, of the sphere. Now I have this formula written down. This is the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. And that might come in handy. I don't know. Well, I do know. But I have it written down anyway. So let's get started. I think a good place to start, as with any problem, is to draw out the free body diagram. So on this sphere, we have a buoyant force that's acting up on the sphere, which I'll call F sub B. And then we have this tension force on the string, which I will call T. And then we also have the weight of the sphere itself. So I'll just draw that right next to it, but that's acting at the point center. And I will call that weight, the weight of the sphere. I'll call that weight S, weight sub S for sphere. And we know that T is equal to one third of the weight of the sphere, right? That's given in the problem. And we know this entire system is in static equilibrium, so we know that the forces should balance each other out. In other words, F sub B minus the weight of the sphere minus the tension should equal zero. And if I rewrite this a little bit differently, I have F sub B is equal to the weight of the sphere plus the tension force in the string. Okay, well from here we know that the tension force is one third the weight of the string. So I'm gonna rewrite this equation as F sub B, the buoyant force, is equal to the weight of the sphere plus T, which is one third WS. And WS plus one third WS is, well, four thirds. Ws. But remember, this question is asking for the mass density of the sphere. So we have this buoyant force, which is equal to 4 thirds the weight of the sphere. But we need to figure out what mass density of the sphere is. So I need to take a look at these two terms right here and rewrite them so that we get mass density into the equation. So on the side here, let's look at Ws first. So Ws, which is the weight of the sphere, is equal to the mass of the sphere times gravity, right? Mass times gravity. And we know from previous videos that mass is equal to the mass density times volume, and that times gravity is equal to the weight of the sphere. So again, mass density is equal to mass over volume. So I just rewrote this as mass equals rho times v. So that's what I plugged in here for m. Okay, cool. Well, what about the buoyant force? What about F sub b? Again, F sub b is the buoyant force, and it's the weight of the liquid displaced, which is equal to the mass of the liquid, so mass of w for water times gravity. And if you don't know where that came from, if you don't know where this is coming from, I would highly suggest you watch the last two videos, and we basically derive and figure out where F sub b comes from, why F sub b is the mass of the fluid displaced times gravity, or the weight of the fluid displaced. So anyway, mass times gravity. I can rewrite this just like I did for the weight of the sphere. And this is going to be equal to the mass density of the water times the volume of the water that got displaced times gravity. OK, cool. So now I can plug in these two equations into the terms in this equation. So I'm going to rewrite this as the buoyant force is equal to 4 thirds times Ws. And the buoyant force is right here. So I'm going to plug that in, which I have mass density of water times the volume of water times gravity. And that's equal to 4 thirds times 
the weight of the sphere, which in this case was rho of the sphere times volume of the sphere times gravity. And instantly, you can see that the gravitational content constants cancel out. And also the volume cancels out. Why? Because the volume of the water that got displaced is equal to the volume of the sphere because the sphere is fully submerged under the water. So however big this sphere is, that's how much volume of water is getting displaced. So what we're left with is the mass density of water is equal to 4 thirds times the mass density of the sphere. And if we rewrite this equation, we get the mass density of the sphere is 3 quarters the mass density of water. And if you wanted to plug numbers in for this equation, if we took the mass density of water to equal 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, then this would be equal to the mass density of the sphere uh, is equal to 3 quarters times 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And that is equal to 750 kilograms per meter cubed. So that is the mass density of this sphere.